Good morning. Hallelujah. Father, we look at where we are standing right now in heavenly places. In Christ, looking at your face on your majesty, and we honor you as a body of believers in this earth. With our hearts first, with our thoughts, with our bodies, by our spirit, by your spirit inside of us, we determine to worship you and yield to your guidance. Worship on earth as it is in heaven with the redeemed and the angels before you. We give you praise and glory. Thank for your peace on us, your people. We're able to shut everything down and let everything go strangely dim in the light of your glory and grace. We separate ourselves to worship you and honor you in this earth as it is in heaven. Amen. Hallelujah. We enter by the blood of Jesus. Amen. Church here on and online, our church family, we love you and worship with us and exalt the Lord our God. Let's honor the blood. Amen. What he has done. Because through the blood we have access with confidence before him, amen. He has saved us, he has freed us, and we stand in his presence. knowing that we are before you father thank you for your peace that permeate our being we rejoice in you on earth as it is in heaven we rejoice in your name lord jesus we rejoice in your love amen let's rejoice Yeah. 
us are saved. Hallelujah. That love that's shed abroad in our hearts right now, we are saved, redeemed, separated for the kingdom of God. Hallelujah. Thank you for your steadfast love, Lord God, that never ceases, and your mercy that can never comes to the end. It is new this morning. Great is your faithfulness, my God. Tell him, great is your faithfulness, my God. Great is your faithfulness, my God. The sun rises up, the moon comes down, and the air is, is consistent because of his faithfulness. We breathe because of his faithfulness. Steadfast, the steadfast love of the Lord never ceases. His mercies never come to an end. They are new every morning, new this morning. the book declare he is faithful and look what in the end of the book they see doing every day every second every moment it says in revelation 5 9 and 12 it says and they sang a new song saying you are worthy you can repeat say you are worthy lord jesus to take the scroll and to open his seal for you were slain and you have redeemed us to God by your blood. Out of every tribe, tongue, people, and nation. And you have made us, that's us church, kings and priests unto God. And we shall reign on the earth. Hallelujah. Then I looked and I heard the voice of many angels which are now singing they're singing here you might not hear them with our ears around the throne the living creatures and the elders and the number of them were ten thousand times ten thousand and thousands of thousands saying with a loud voice that's what they're saying let's say it together worthy is the lamb who was slain to receive power and riches and wisdom and strength and honor and glory and blessing hallelujah worthy is the lamb say it wherever you are who was slain to receive power and riches and wisdom and strength and honor and glory and blessing hallelujah or amakise is revelation 5 and verse 11 again worthy is the lamb who was slain to receive power 
and riches and wisdom and strength and honor and glory and blessing. Hallelujah. This is how we live as kings and priests on earth. Amen. Hallelujah. Oh, praise the name of the Lord our God. Oh, praise his name forevermore, for endless days. We will sing your praise, O oh Lord, O oh Lord our God. Oh, praise the name. Oh, praise the Blazing sun shall be the night, and I will rise among the saints. My gaze transfixed on Jesus. That's what is gonna happen. Oh, praise! Oh, praise the to us, he shall return, he shall return in robes of white, the blazing sun shall be the night, and I will rise among the saints, my guest on Start here, Lord, from the day we said, Yes, Jesus, be my Lord, for endless days. We will sing your praise, our Savior. For endless days, we will sing your praise, our Father. I worship you, Almighty God. There's none, there's none like you. We live for you because you are our life. We live for you because you're worthy to be honored and praised. You shed your blood, you came to us and you brought us back home. Thank you, Father. We worship you. I worship you, Almighty God. There is none like you. Tell him, I worship you. I worship you, O Prince of is what I want to do. I worship you, for you are my 
again to him. worthy Lamb of God mighty God awesome God let's sing it to him sing it.
Lamb of God. Hallelujah. that has redeemed us out of every town, every kindred, out of every nation. You have redeemed us out of the realms of humanity and you brought us into the divinity of God. Thank you. You have made us kings and priests unto our Father and you are worthy for you were slain even from the foundation of the world. You have redeemed us unto the Father. We have been raised up together with you and we've been made to sit together with you in heavenly places. This is now where we live. Because of your shed blood and because of your broken body, we now enter with boldness through your blood into the holiest of holies. We now enter through the veil of your flesh that has been torn. And this is now the new and living way, the place where we now live in you. And so, Father, we thank you that this is where we are. And so, Lord, we rest. We rest in the reality that we've been crucified with Christ. We rest in the reality that all things have passed away. They are dead, buried, and gone. We rest in this place, in this reality of resurrection, Father. Oh, this is the life that we now have, the resurrected life, and we rest in this place. We rest in where you have raised us up to, where we have been ascended, and we are seated in Christ in this place of ascension and we are partakers of his ascension life for as he is so are we in this world and we rest we rest we rest we rest in him we rest in his life oh we rest in the blood of the lord jesus christ that has established us in this new covenant in this new and living way we rest in that blood that has enjoined us unto you where you are our covenant god you are our covenant father oh we rest we rest we rest we rest in the blood we rest in the authority of the name of jesus for that name now belongs to us and we have life through that name oh we bless you we rest in the great and precious promises that you've given unto us that we might partake of your divine nature we rest we rest in the promise of the holy spirit oh we magnify you we magnify you the holy spirit of god the might and the power of god even that same power that raised jesus from the dead that now dwells within us we rest in the spirit of god oh we rest in you father we thank you we thank you for what you have done through your wonderful glorious son our lamb crucified from the foundation of the world bless you lord i will rest in your love Hallelujah. put my trust yes. in your goodness and set my thoughts on peaceful things above. I will cast away my cares and find my joy in your presence. I will rest, I will rest in your love. I will rest in your love. Come on, church. Put my trust in your goodness 
has set my thoughts on these four things above. I will cast away my cares and find my joy in your presence. I will rest, I will rest in your love. I will rest, I will rest. In your Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Order in you, we live and move and have our being. We rest in you. We rest in you. We rest. We rest in you. Thank you, Father. Jesus. The kingdom of God is within us. And the kingdom of God is released mm. among us. Thank the kingdom you, of God rules over us. Oh, rules over us. all. Lord, we rest, we rest, yes, we rest. Hallelujah. Let's have Jesus. a seat. Hallelujah. When we rest, God, that's when God works. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Blessed be the name of the Lord. This morning, just as we bless the Lord with our giving, I want to exhort you. I want to exhort you to give abundantly because you love God, but I want you to, to give abundantly because you favor his righteous cause. On this ministry, we have an assignment. And that assignment is to take this message, this message of the revelation of righteousness and the authority of the sacrifice of Christ all over this world and to take it to every believer that they might become established in righteousness and that there would be trees of righteousness planted of the Lord. In 1 Chronicles chapter 29, it says, Furthermore, King David said to all the assembly, my son Solomon, whom alone God has chosen, is young and he's inexperienced. The work is great because the temple is not for man, but it is, the temple is for God. Now for the house of my God, I have prepared with all my might gold for things made of gold, silver for things of silver, bronze for the things of bronze, iron for the things of iron, wood for the things of wood, onyx stones, stones to be set. Glistening stones of various colors, all kinds of precious stones and marble slabs in abundance. Moreover, because I have set my affection on the house of my God, I have given to the house of my God over and above all that I have prepared for the house, for the holy house. My own special tre treasure of gold and silver. Silver. 3,000 talents of gold, of the gold of offer, and 7,000 talents of refined silver to overlay the walls of the house. The gold for things of gold and silver for the things of silver and for all kinds of work to be done by the hands of craftsmen. Who then is willing to consecrate himself this day to the Lord? Then the leaders of the Father's house Leaders of the tribes of Israel, the captains of thousands and hundreds, with the officers over the king's work, offered willingly. They gave for the work of the work of God 5,000 talents and 10,000 directs of gold, 10,000 talents of silver, 18,000 talents of bronze, and 100,000 talents of iron. And whoever had precious stones, give them to the treasury of the house of the Lord into the hand of Jehiel, the Gergeshite. Then the people rejoiced, for they, have, they had offered willingly, because with a loyal heart they had offered willingly to the Lord, and King David also rejoiced greatly. I am just encouraging you. My heart is burdened with the need for the revelation of righteousness and the sacrifice of Christ. To invade the lives of believers from one end of the globe to the other. 
through all the means that are available, the various platforms and internet. But it does require silver and gold. It requires finances. So I am encouraging you and I am inviting you to give abundantly to the work of the Lord to this end. That this gospel, these truths that we declare from this pulpit will go to the ends of the earth. And I believe that as you do, you will also have a, have a part in the harvest of it as well. Amen. So I just really want to encourage you to do so. Encourage you to give now, give today. But I also encourage you to partner with us. This gospel, this truth regarding righteousness and the sacrifice of Christ must be preached to the ends of the earth before the end comes. Amen? So I encourage you to participate. The information as to how you can participate is on the screen. Amen. Do you, you and you are blessed as you give. Amen. You are blessed as you give. Amen. Uh, because you're giving into the work of the Lord. Jesus received it in heaven and we distribute it on earth. Amen. Text uh, TLMHCA277977 or website tlmh.ca and forward slash give or in Canada you can e-transfer to info at tlmh.ca or mail your giving to the address on the website and another way is uh, we encourage you to download the app tlmhca app and from there you can give also the app also have a lot of resources articles uh, connection to all our uh, uh, social media platforms from there you can connect with us directly we can send you push notification about events and things happening so it's really helpful it is in your app store tlmhca and as we continue as you're giving on here on um, on location you can get your envelope and fill it and put it at the back and um, we continue to worship now the name of Jesus, the name that's above every name. We worship the beautiful Savior, the glorious Lord, the Emmanuel who is with us, blessed Redeemer, he is the living word. He is love, our loving shepherd. He is the vine of the branches. He is son of God, amen. Prince of peace, wonderful counselor, hallelujah. Lord of the universe, light of the world. We praise him, the Lord of Lords, the King of Kings, God's only Son, the Prince of Peace, who sits, who by his Spirit comes to live inside of us, Master and Friend. Amen. Sing it to him. Oh, Jesus, name above all names, beautiful Savior. loving shepherd Jesus loving shepherd vine of the branches son of God prince of peace wonderful counselor of the universe, light of the world, praise him, church. He is Lord. He has not left us comfortless, but he has sent the Holy Spirit who will be with you forever. He never leaves you. He never forsakes you. 
It doesn't matter what mood you're in. He is there all the time. Blessed be his name forevermore. Hallelujah. For great is the Lord and greatly to be praised. In the city of our God and in the mountain of his holiness.